land there so I can jump up. Ha 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 ha! There's fuck all in here. There's fuck all in here. Hi ho, Bigglesworth! Hello and welcome to Hi ho, Bigglesworth. My name's Timothy Babblehump and this is Landstalker. So last time I made my way through the evil labyrinth, caught up with the Duke and fought him. It was surprisingly easy, but that was because he was tricking me. And then I got teleported back to Murr's Tower where he gave me uh, axe magic, which means I can cut down them trees that have been annoying me for the whole game. Uh, today, all I'm going to do is explore around, find like secret things that I've missed, because I know there's a lot. There's a bunch of places I haven't been to because I haven't been able to access them. Like, like up here, where there's a treasure chest that has a dial in it. Where was the fairy village? I want to visit that because... I didn't actually get anything in the fairy village. Was it this way? Yeah, it was. It was this way. I need to kill both of them in one hit. Yeah. Then head down here. Boy, that's how I reached the treasure chest, isn't it? No, it was over here. Here we go. Fairy, fa 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 fairy village. Yeah. And, and Friday pops out here. Right, how the fuck do I reach them doors? Ah, three... Okay, three e keeks. If I can stack them on top of each other... Then I can open the doors, because there were e-keeks there last time. So maybe there's always e-keeks every time you come into the screen. So if I leave and come back... Bye now! Shut up, Friday! You can go and say hello to them in a minute. Once once I've... Yes, there's three e-keeks every time. So once I have nine e-keeks, I can't get any more. So I can stack them. Shit, there's only two. I can't even talk to these fairies that are hanging out outside. There's only two now, what the hell? So I, ca I can't... I can't build the staircase because it only gives you enough for nine. Huh. There must be some way to do it. <laughs> no. Expensive shop, hello. Nigel, what would you like? Whatever you want, just name it and I'll lower the price for you. Okay. Death statue there. I suspect that kills all the enemies on the screen. It would be useful, but I don't want to waste my money on it, because I can easily fight them. I want to know what the shortcake does. I'll find a shortcake. It works well. Okay. How much does it cost? 200 gold. Yeah. Thank you, Nigel. It'll come in handy, I assure you. Okay. Let's use the shortcake. Find out what it does. Try to give the shortcake to Friday. What's this? Shortcake? Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Oh my god! She just took all my health. I have one health left. And no e -keys. I had nine e a minute ago. Oh, come on. That's not fair. There must be another use for that. Must be. Maybe if I'm low on health, it, 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 it does the opposite. It gives me full health and, and, and nine e Yeah, for me, just 200 golds. Okay. Right. Let, let's try it. Let's, let's try it. Please don't kill me, Friday. Try to give the shortcake to Friday. What's this? Shortcake? Is that supposed to be... I received the goods and I'm doing quite well these days. I'm happy with... What the fuck is... He... Why are you talking to me like that? So she just takes all my health. What is the point in the item? If if it does the opposite as well, gives you nine e and full life, then I could use that to access the fairy village thing. Because if I'm in the screen and there's three e -keeks, then, obviously, I can use that, get nine e kicks, and then pile them ones up. Possibly. That that makes sense to me. If it does the opposite. But does it do the opposite? I need to find out. Okay. Come on. Friday, if you do the same thing again, I'm not going to buy any more. Try to give shortcake to Friday. Thanks, Nigel. Strawberry shortcake is my favourite. We have a large stock of unusual things. Yeah, look! I have nine e and full health. Okay, I'm going to buy, like, three of them. And then next time I go to Fairy Village, I can... I can try that. I can try that out. It should work. Because items don't vanish. <laughs> they don't just randomly vanish. I can only have one short kick at a time. Oh, come the fuck on! Okay. Play stop by again, Nigel. No. Okay, so I know what Shortcake does now. I'm going to save it. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to Fairy Village and try that little trick that I've just thought of. Okay, the moment of truth. 
The moment of truth. Okay, see, three e cakes. Let's use a shortcake. Don't you fucking dare take all my shit, Friday. Don't you dare. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Nigel. Strawberry shortcake is my favourite. Have we got? I have nine e cakes. Found e cake, but the bag is full. Yes, we can stack them. <laughs> yes, let's let's access these rooms. Fuck off, e cake. Yeah, fuck off. You, you land there so I can jump up. <laughs> There's fuck all in here. There's fuck all in here. Oh, Friday. To think I have not seen you for 256 years. Do you remember that terrible war with King Nowell? Wasn't that the worst experience? What? You're looking for the treasures of King Nowell? Be careful, he's dead, but... He would surely rise from the grave to protect his treasures. Is that a hint at what's going to happen at the end? Can I not go through that door? Your boyfriend is cute, huh? <laughs> yeah, so that's what they say. Okay, you're not supposed to be able to go through these doors, okay. I thought I found a nice little thing where, you, where something would happen, but no, apparently not. Th there's nothing in these rooms. There's, there's no treasure chest or anything. So that was pointless. Ah. Oh. It was, it was a nice little thing to work out, and you get you get when if you can talk to them pixies, then you get that little hint that Friday actually knows King Noel or fought in the war with him. So she should know where King Noel's treasures are, really. I never should have doubted her at the start of the game. No, no. Let let's head let's head all the way back to the start of the game so I can fucking cut down the trees and see what's in that evil cave. So we're back at the starting village. Where there was a tree to cut down to get to a cave. Yeah. There's a livestock around here. Where? Where? Where's the livestock? I'm pretty sure I searched this whole village at the start. Okay, now that I've played some of the game, I think I know what to do. Can I pick up your chicken, please? Trap it, trap it in the corner. Oh God, can, can I jump on, how am I supposed to jump on it? Wait, 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 okay, I get it, I get it, I think, I think I get it. If this works, I'd be amazed. Can you walk past the statue over there, please? Yeah, he's going, he's going towards the statue, come on, down. No, other way! Down, down, down towards the statue, no! Come on, I've seen you standing by the statue before. Towards the statue, come on, one more step. And I can make it. Yes! Look at that! Livestock. <laughs> yeah! I thought I could pick up the chicken and throw it on there. That would have been much easier. But no, apparently I had to... Why can't I... Do I have to use axe magic? Used axe magic, nothing happened. I, I can't, I can't break... Th Why can't I cut these trees? There we go, done it. What the fuck? Okay, I have to drop down. And I have to climb my way back up. Oh my god, this is evil. Ah! What the fuck was that? Okay, well, I have to make my way around here. Okay, there's, there's something there. I, I don't know how to do that. Wait, 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 I get it. Sort of. If I have to go all the way back to the top and then fall back down, I'm going to be pissed off now. Oh god. Okay. This is just awkward. Okay, press the button. And then that lifts that up. I'm going to head down the steps, though. Because that can't be what's in the cave. That That's a pointless cave if it's just that. Okay, it's not even a difficult cave. This isn't even difficult. This is not even remotely difficult. Is that all that that was? Okay. Well, yeah, avoid the boulder. Right. So what I need to do, I know that's down now, okay, press that, and what's that done now? What has that done? Do I have to, oh, you're going to have to climb back up here again. What has it done now? I don't even know. Oh, you fucking bastard. 
How do you even access them staircases? There's, there's a button there. I need to press that button on the next level. But how? How? Right, if I drop... Uh, if I drop and press into that wall... No, you can't. You can't. If, if I pull back when I, when I dropped on the pit, maybe I'll land on the next one down. Yes, there we go. Okay, now I have to climb the stairs. Uh, bastard. Okay, buff. Buff. There we go. Press the button. Okay, now I should be able to press another button. Oh, oh shit, boulder. I forgot about the boulder then. Because I was used to going down two screens when I fell. <laughs> right, so press this. Oh, what happens that? Where's the next switch? There! Oh my god! So I gotta climb all the way back up and then drop down again. Okay, switch. There we go. Now, is that the last one? Looks like it. What's over here? Fuck off. Okay, fine. Right, through here. And kill kill these blue enemies, which is which is surprisingly difficult. Are, are they the purple enemies? Are they the the purple version of the lizards? Possibly. Okay. That's it. Oh, fucking! Do you have to slam so violently? What's this? What's this? I don't even know what that is. Ha <laughs> ha! There's a livestock in here. I just drop down here. Okay. Ooh, boots. Dal. Livestock. Found fireproof. Got fireproof. So they're fireproof boots. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna unequip them because obviously I don't need to be fireproof right now. But I do need healing boots. So if if I reach a fiery area, then. I should use the fireproof boots to be fireproof. Yeah. Is there going to be much fire in the rest of the game? Because I had to go through like lava areas before, but there was no way I could have gotten this before then because the axe magic that I got is part of the story. So that's not really fair, is it? If, if the fireproof boots are useless now, <laughs> it's just taking the piss. Unless there was a secret way to get in here at the start. But then again, how would you kill them purple lizards at the start without dying? A lot. Because they're fucking hard. You'd have to be good at the game. Something which I'm not, so... Oh, fuck off! No! Oh, God! Do you know what? I, I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to go to the end of the game. Like, what else was there? There was the well in Mercator. I suppose I'm going to Mercator, so I can try and go down there now. Sorry, you can't come in unless you have a casino ticket. How do I get a casino ticket? I would like to go into the casino, please. I don't have to go into the casino. I really don't care, but... Let, let's go speak to Arthur. He's been very helpful so far, hasn't he? His name's Arthur. He should be king. Is he going to be king? After we defeat Noel. Is he going to be in here? Hello, Arthur! Nice to see thee again! As thou dost see, I'm completely healed now! I'll do my best to make Murkata a good home for its people. I've been thinking about the relationship between Pollux, politics and the militia for a long time now. Julie and I have often discussed it, and I'm now convinced that I can make this town prosper without a military force. So I built a casino in the town well to help lower the taxes. Please drop by if thou dost have the time. So he built the casino in the well. Visit me anytime. Take care of thyself. What are you doing? I'm a new person now. I'll work hard under Arthur to right my wicked ways. Goro? I don't even remember who Goro was. I, I really don't remember who he was. <laughs> I don't remember what he did. Oh, I see you have a casino ticket. Care to come in? Yes. Welcome to the Casino Athelia. Have fun. Okay. Roulette. Let's play some roulette. Welcome. Let's play roulette. The game starts when you get on the big ball. If the ball stops on a red plate, you'll get 200 golds. 50 golds for one play. Try your luck? Yeah. 
Okay, so 50 gold. So I have to stand on the ball. And then it'll just go. If it lands on a red one, I get to it. They, 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 oh, I don't like them odds. I really don't like the odds. Please try again. No, I'm not going to try again. Look at that. You, you're far more likely to lose than win. The odds are roughly were roughly like 1 in 4. So every time I play it 4 times, I'd win 200 golds. But I would have spent 200 golds. It's pointless. Chicken race. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the chicken race. Ride one of the four chickens. If your chicken comes in first, you'll get 200 golds. 50 golds for one race. Give it a try. Yeah. There's four chickens here. What are the odds that one, one in four times you win? Come on, chicken. Come on. I do I have to jump on the chicken? Aha. Okay. Go, chicken! Go, chicken! Go, chicken! Go, chicken! Run, chicken! You're winning! Yes! I'm gonna win! Uh, no, no, don't you fucking dare! Congratulations, here you go! Yes! That was so fucking close. But I won. <laughs> yeah, I got 200 golds for that. I'm feeling good about my gambling skills now. Although it's not really much much skill involved, was there? There's been no skill so far. Chicken toss. Ooh, this sounds like it's got skill involved. Why did I just walk straight out? Hello, let's play chicken toss. Try to catch as many chickens as you can and throw them into the pan before the time runs out. Room record is three. You'll get five golds per chicken. The game starts when you get on the red square. 20 golds for one turn. So the record is three chickens. That's 15 golds. So I'm going to lose five unless I can beat the record. All right, so when I stand on the red square... Okay, catch a chicken. Catch a chicken. Catch a ch catch the fucking chicken. Get the chicken. What are you doing? Ah... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. What the hell? I, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Yeah, okay. Get the chicken! Okay, it's getting a bit laggy here. I can't catch the chickens! Oh my god, there's a steroid one! <laughs> how fast is that chicken moving? Okay. Ah, oh, you bastard! I got 15 gold, yeah, the room record's 3, but that's not fair because the first one I caught it just flew out the room. Right, let's go to the mountain area, and let's save it first, save it first, I don't know when the next time I'll be able to save it is. It'd be ridiculous if I weighed away all the way there and, and didn't have to save it. That's a record book, yes I know it's a record book. Actually, that's it. That's it for today. Next time, we'll go to the mountain area and we'll find King Noel's palace. And then we'll find the treasure. And then I think the game will be over. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> so I've been Timothy Babylon. This has been Land Stalker. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm so close to finishing the game now. I know there's a bunch of stuff I haven't done, like by them livestock and stuff, but I don't really care. I, I, I just want to finish it now.